Hello everyone, Christopher Fisher here. Welcome to another part. Oh my goodness, there's sound. Oh my god, guys, that is that is a difference from the English version. Hello everyone, Christopher Fisher here. Welcome back to another part of Spyro the Dragon. This is part something of my let's play of the game. And uh, yeah, we just got a sound effect for that thing. That is the coolest thing ever. Now this is Sunny Sky. It is a level, it is a flight level. It is known for its trains. We all we all know about the trains in this level. It's awesome. And let me tell you this, it is a relief to be playing in like a normal Spyro like look like this. Like like it actually it actually controls like Spyro. It's not this piece of shit camera bullshit. Um there you go. Okay. Now I'm I'm look I'm notoriously I'm actually not that good at uh I'm actually not that good at these flight levels, and as you can see there, I have very, very little strategy. I'm almost like uh, Matthew Loby for Port Adelaide sometimes, just feeling like directionless as the Ruckman. That's uh, a very obscure reference. All your footy fans, you, you'll be loving me for that. So hopefully you guys watch Australian Rules Football. Hopefully we've got some Australian audiences here. And even better, if you're back for Port, if you're a hero, you're a friend, and we'll forever be friends. If you don't, if you're back for the Crows, please unsubscribe. And I'm kidding, but I'm sort of not. You know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Chill out. Don't worry. But yes, guys, look up the Crows, and uh, yes, the Crows. The Crows suck. Anyway, uh, I always loved this, even as a kid. I love it now. Just this whole purpleness of the room. It just, it really pops. It just, it looks great. It's, uh, it's really got a just a just an awesome. Yeah, it's an awesome vibe. And it's 37 seconds there. That's that's a solid time. Actually, if you look at that. Let's have a look. What have we got? We got 1 minute 28. That's that's okay. That's definitely... I mean, it could be better, sure. But, yeah, that's pretty good. Probably one of my faster times, actually. If I could just get a few things right now. Quick fact about that. that they pretty much use like a modified version of that skybox for... Um, Enchanted Towers, so nothing like that really looks like that in Inspiro, um, what's it called, Insp Inspiro 2, but in Inspiro 3 they kind of use very similar colors there, that sort of aquamarine turquoise sort of color and green, but yeah. Anyway, let's go to the second world now. Let's go to Peace Keepers, what was it called? Peace Garden Home or something? I, f I forgot. That's a disgrace, I really shouldn't forget like that. Alright, here we are. Off to the next world. Here we go. Oh wait, what, what the hell? Oh, wrong one. Okay, well you know what? All right. I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, yeah, I get why. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? Let's let's buck the trend a bit. Let's let's actually. I'm just still going to put it in order in the description. But let's let's just do this level because uh, you know it's just yeah. What's it called again? Um, what's it called? Crystal Sky, that's right, yeah. Crystal Sky, what a cool name. Okay. Anyway, let's walk on by. That's a uh, Burt Bacharach song, which was later remixed by Soichi Tirada. It's called Walk On By. It's really good. It goes like, Walk on by. Ba 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 ba. Insurance line. It doesn't say insurance line, but that, that's a that's an Australian company insurance line. God, sometimes I come across as the biggest shill, like accidentally, like I'm not even intentionally promoting brands, but it's pretty much all I can do. Like if I got like unlisted leaf size channel, like I end up getting like 500,000 subscribers, I would be in so much trouble if like I got involved with lawyers and stuff like that, because I'd be mentioning competition and brands and shit like all the time, and I know that I'd be really rigid about that. Um, that's just based on what I've heard about stuff, but yeah, so be careful everyone. Anyway, um, what have we got to do? This, this flight, I have a horrendous time actually. Look, because there's barely any time left, like, it's really, it's actually a real piece of shit. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make it. Yep, I'm very, in fact, I'm very much sure that I've stuffed this up eternally. Seriously, this is really, really, really upsetting. Okay. Cause it's like it's like a particular strategy that I'm just not enforcing. Uh, see, look, I'm gonna miss it. Like, but the question is, what am I actually doing wrong? What area am I taking to the? Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. There. 
Okay, there you go. Okay. This would... Now, may, maybe I might get it. I might actually be saved. Come on. There you go. That's five, four, three, two, one. And with 0.4 seconds to go, I did it. Congratulations to me. That was solid. That was pretty good. Okay, and we're done. And I want to get out of here. Yes. Let's go to Night Sky now. Yeah, not much. That level, look, how, that's how I remember it. It's got crystals in it. Its skybox reminds me of Metro Speedway a little bit. And it's uh, it's difficult. It's not easy. Well, at least I don't find it that easy. Uh, so if, for me, no matter what, it always goes down to the wire. Even though there's probably a very effective way we could probably get it with like 20 seconds remaining. If you actually put some effort into it. Anyway. Anyway, uh, let's go to Night Sky. Alright, let's go to Night Sky, which has crystals in it. Now, notice that the background, apart from a few little color changes, it doesn't feel as rich as uh, Crystal Islands, but it actually is pretty much the same background, very, very similar. Just like how Treetops ends up being very similar to, uh, oh, well, sorry, the Honey Speedway is like very similar to Treetops, um, because it has this, like, this particular, has this particular, um, bit in it that just looks like it like so they add these like honey things like hanging off it or something like that off the skybox now this is another level which i have again fucked up like i i have like no idea how to do these speedways i'm just really bad at them um okay let's see I'm i think i'm doing this all wrong like i think like there's like a particular method and i done goofed up or something like that because look what's going to happen I'm going to come around here right and there's going to, this, I should have done this last there's going to be nothing for me or maybe there will be okay there you go the question is do I have enough time okay. this doesn't feel like there's a proper strategy for collecting these like it feels very haphazard and, and sort of just weird anyway I think we are just going to make it there we go Done. And that was 1 minute 14. Not too bad. Not too not too great, but not too bad. And yeah, like yeah, so I love I love the I love the skybox of this, but yeah, it is different. It's not exactly the same. The Spyro 3 one looks a bit more sophisticated, a bit richer in some of the colours. But I mean that's sort of Spyro 3 and 2 in a nutshell. Like it's a bit richer in terms of the certain colours that they use. This is still great though, of course. Now anyway, in the next part, we're heading off. Dan de Leosh off to the Beastmaker's home, which I'll find out the name in Japanese very, very soon. We'll be doing that one and Terrace Village. So thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Tell your friends, tell your, tell everyone, tell everyone about this and uh, get, let's get, let's get as many people watching this Japanese Let's Play as possible. Thank you guys very much. You know, I appreciate it and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.